see to solve this question no, uh, don't do it the conventional way to uh, try and find out the length of the platform and all that it's not actually bridge i mean here bridge <laughs> that's all not required uh, very easily you will be able to solve this question with very less calculations if you approach it the correct way so let us see how to approach this question uh, in a smart way what is given here a train running at a speed of 40 meters per second crosses a bridge in 18 seconds another train which is 90 meters shorter than the first crosses the same bridge at a speed of 84 kilometers per hour find the time taken by the second train to cross the bridge see whenever we see such question our normal tendency will be to say that let the length of one train be l the length of the other train is l minus 90 and the speed of this train is uh, 40 meters per second and try to solve it like this and all not required don't do it this way okay see what is given here one train okay it is traveling with a speed of 40 meters per second and it is crossing a bridge in 18 seconds so what is the distance that is traveled by the first train what is the distance traveled by train one it is nothing but 40 into 18 correct 40 meters per second 18 seconds or that is equal to 18 into 4 that is 720 meters now what does the 720 meter represent it represents the length of the train right this is the train means the length of the train plus the length of the bridge right so this 720 meter represents the length of this train plus the length of the bridge now next what are they giving they are saying that another train which is 90 meters shorter than the first crosses the same bridge at a speed of 84 kilometers per hour so actually here first 84 kilometers per hour means what should you do you should take it as 84 into 5 by 18 meters per second so this is the speed of the second train now what will be the distance that is traveled by the second train see it is given here in the question very clearly that the train 2 is 90 meters shorter than the first train okay and it is also causing the same bridge so the total distance that will be traveled by the second train will be nothing but 720 minus 90 or it is equal to 630 do you understand how I get this 630? See, what is the distance traveled by train 2? The distance traveled by train 2 is nothing but the length of the train 2 plus the length of the bridge. Here, we know the length of the bridge is remaining the same. Earlier case also it was same. Here also it is same. Now, I don't want to know what it is. But here, when you look at the length of the train, here if it is L, this is L minus 90, right? So, if the total distance that is traveled by train 1 is 720 meters, this train would have traveled only 720 minus 90 because it is 90 meters less or it is traveling only 630 meters. Now, what is the question? Find the time taken by the second train to cross the bridge. So, the distance traveled by the second train is 630 meters. Its speed, you know. So, what is the time it will take? 630 divided by 84 into 5 by 18 means this 18 will come up. Solve for this and you will get it as 27 seconds okay so the correct answer here is option c see the way you approach the question is also very very important if you approach it this way you will arrive at the answer faster okay so correct answer is option c 27 seconds